Well, this case is almost too big to fit into the frame, but this is the ultimate opening kit. Now, you might remember I did a review of an ultimate opening kit from the competitor, uh, I guess about four months ago. Some of you were quick to remind me and point out that Multipick was the originator of the Ultimate Opening Kit and asked me to take a look at it, basically to compare, and also because there is one heck of a sale going on right now, 25% off. So I decided to go ahead and grab a couple, one to show off and give away, and then one for myself because the price was so great. All right, let's take a look at what's in the upper half of the case to begin with. These are all the non-destructive tools. On the top left, shiny, I'm going to grab this first. You have to. These are the TFG sliders. Uh, they are come in two different sizes because doors come in different sizes to give you a couple options. And they are two sides to it, so you can attack both sides of the door. Uh, one side is angles, and it basically just slides in angles the bolt and slides it up out of the way to give you an open. These things work great. In fact, I've used these, I've done a review of these, and I will put an overlay showing how these things work. A lot easier to see a video than, you know, just hear some guy talking about it. Right here, these are also kind of an extension of the sliders, but these, think of these as like super credit cards. These are very large plastic sheets. There are six of them inside of here. Uh, three of two different sizes, 0.35 millimeters and half a millimeter, and they're designed to fit into these handles. So you fit it in the handle, clamp it down with those two screws, and you can slide it in. Basically credit card open uh, bolts with that. So a pretty cool tool. Put that back up here. Everything fits in these nice little slots. Um, sometimes you need to open up specific size bolts. And you know, there's different size bolts. There's an eight millimeter bolt, there's 10 millimeter bolt. So it makes sense to have a specialized tool for each size. It's written right there on the handles. And of course you can always tell by looking at the tips of these. Very heavy construction. Not gonna be breaking these things anytime soon. They fit nicely in these little slots. They don't fall out. There's a little compression there so they don't fall out when you close the door. If you've got to open gates, uh, this is a nice little tool. I've used this quite often. If you're on an interior door, for example, and the door handle has fallen off, but the latch is still secured, well, this works great. Slide it in, push that bolt out, just slide it and push your bolt out of the way, and you're right in. Again, you can attack from either top or the bottom to give you the freedom to go attack both sides of the door. And then lastly, we have this little case. It's not so little. This is actually a pretty thick case. Got a bunch of stuff in it. Let me turn that camera down. All right, inside of here are where you keep all of the stuff, all the accessories and the screws that are going to go with the core extractor. In the case of Multipick, they got some of the nicest, least resistant, I mean, most resistant to breaking, so least ten tendency to break. Whew. These are very tough screws, that's what I'm trying to say. You got three different sizes, they sell these in different packets. There's 10 in here, they usually sell for about a buck a piece, about 10 bucks. You get 10 screws and somewhere in here, each packet comes with a little Torx tip designed to fit it. The same Torx tip applies, It'll be, it can be used on any of the three different sizes. So you get 30 screws, and then further down inside of here, you get a good assortment, basically all of the, the bolt and wire manipulation, bolt manipulation, tools that Multipick makes, they are all here inside of this kit. So all of this is, well, except for the screws, everything is non-destructive. So let's take a look at the destructive tools. The first thing I notice when we open this guy up is there's a DVD that has all the instructions on how to use all the equipment inside of here. So if you, if there's a couple things in here you're not sure how to use, just watch the videos on here and they'll tell you exactly how to do it. Um, one thing I will tell you before I forget, normally this comes with a lubricant in this slot called AT44. Uh, because I ordered this uh, internationally, I ordered it from Germany, I'm here in the States, they can't ship that stuff internationally. So I threw a WD-40, my favorite, and I know you guys are going to say it's not a lubricant, but it works great. I put that in there for, for my own kit. Um, over here, we have the bolt snapper. Okay. Just a super tool. I've broken countless Euro style locks with these. This is a very thick, solid steel. It's a very heavy tool, nice knurling on the handle, just top quality. I've, I've looked at all of this stuff earlier. The way these work, uh, if this were the Euro lock, it just slides into the front there. And the inside of there are very sharp knurlings. 
and you only have to secure it with one or two of those knurls. So the lock really doesn't have to protrude, try it the right way, Bill, doesn't have to protrude from the face very much. If you can get one or two of those serrations onto this and tighten that down on them, you can easily snap this. Again, I'll put an overlay showing how to use this in an earlier demonstration. These just are just wonderful tools. They do tend to break a lot of locks, so pretty easily. Um, moving across the top here, let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. This is the core puller. Come out of there. Again, very, very heavy construction, nice machine work, nice knurling, just a beautiful job. Again, I've reviewed these before. These are really cool. Um, they don't really do a lot of damage to the door, and that's what I really like about these. You basically take one of those Viper screws, you drive it into the face of the lock, you hook the head of it through that slot, you put this up against the door, and then you turn this to extract it. There are two adapter plates that come with this, again, to protect the door. You don't have to use it, but it does kind of protect the door. If you're going to be pulling just a bolt from a normal, or I'm sorry, a core from a normal lock, like a mortise lock, this is just a, a standard one right here. Sorry, I just turned that over and realized I had the wrong one. So standard core, and then if you have a Euro, again, it helps you with alignment a little bit to be able to align that in there, keep that perfectly centered so that you pull the bolt straight out of there. If you misset it just a little bit, it can be a problem, but by machining that template on the back to make sure you get it centered perfectly, you kind of avoid that problem. So very cool. These things just work great. I have no problem. Once you've broken the lock, sometimes uh, you don't uh, automatically get in. Sometimes you need to reach in uh, with a tool to turn that bolt. A lot of guys use a screwdriver. Uh, a lot of, there's just different pair of pliers perhaps. This is the actual turning tool. Again, very solid construction. This is solid cast uh, aluminum, I believe. Um, the nice thing about this is in addition to sliding in and using that tip as kind of a key to turn the actuator and to slide the bolt open, as a locksmith you want to know, you know if you're going to break a bolt, you're going to have to replace it right afterwards. So as you slide it in there, you can make note how long is that cylinder so you know exactly what size you're going to need to replace it. you got even numbers on one side and odd numbers on the other side. So very precise in terms of measurement. On the top of this, basically a master key, sometimes door handles fall off. Uh, people walk away with them. They're generally three different sizes, six, seven, or eight millimeter, and there are the six, seven, and eight millimeter. In case you forget, it's marked inside of there as well. So very cool. Nice to have that tool. You don't have to use a screwdriver for everything. All right, speaking of tools, I'm gonna to spend a little time on this because I'm kind of a tool guy. And what really caught my eye was the quality of the tools. I can tell you, they didn't cut any corners. First of all, when we turn those Viper screws, the head, it has the, the Torx tip on it. And of course, this is a Torx tip. There's a couple of different Torx tips that come with this. There are some in the envelopes. There's one inside of this box I'm gonna show you. And then there's this guy. If you wanna manually turn it in, the last thing you want is a weak, low quality tool because that Torx tip, could break off there and then you're gonna be frustrated. Every, everything gets rounded off. By choosing a quality tool, Multipick has made sure that that's not gonna to happen to us. The next thing is looking at this guy. Uh, I've gotta tell you, these are wonderful tools. These are Nipex pliers. As far as I'm concerned, these are about the highest quality pliers and highest quality tools that you can get. Over the last several years, you know, I don't own stock in Nipex. I'm just a user of their product. And when I find a great product, I really like to let other people know about it. And this is the case of Nipex tools. I've converted all of my pliers over from no-name brands or Craftsman or other stuff that was kind of mediocre, middle-of-the-road stuff to Nipex because I have confidence that when I grab a Nipex pair of pliers, it's going to do exactly what I want it to do. Nothing's going to break, nothing's going to slip, and it's going to work perfectly. And that's what I want. I don't, I no longer buy cheap tools. I go for top of the line, and that would be Nipex. Another top quality tool, again, uh, Veras, Vera screwdrivers. These things are just Fantastic. Again, I've gotten rid of all my crappy screwdrivers, all that old stuff, no-name brand, and I only have Weira in my shop now. And the reason for that is because these guys are so tough. They come with these laser etched tips so it doesn't slide out of the slot. I've got both Phillips and Flathead. Uh, the handles are nicely ergonomically molded for my hands. Uh, they are just super tough, very reliable tools, and they just don't slip. They've really put a lot of thought into these. They're not the cheapest tools, but they're the best.
And again, Multipick has chosen the best. A tool I don't know a lot about, uh, Proxon brand. It looks like a high quality tool. I see no issues with it. I don't, I didn't take time to do the research on Proxon. I have brands called Joker that I use, but again, there's not a lot of pressure that's going to be put on this wrench, so I really wouldn't worry too much about that. It's used for one thing, and that's to extract the bolt, and it really doesn't put any stress on this tool. Again, this may be the highest quality tool. I just, I really don't know. Even when it comes down to something like this guy, the, you know, the Allen key that basically is used to tighten the bolt right here. It, they made sure to give you a long handle one. Again, they made sure of quality. And I, I don't know if you're going to be able to read this, but uh, right on the top there, it's a Weha brand. It's made in Germany. And over here it says ISO approved. So again, you can have a lot of confidence that you're not going to be in the middle of trying to torque this down and all of a sudden have everything strip off. It's just not, not going to happen. So... I've got to say it's a great tool kit so far. Um, i got to tell you as well, these are 25% off now. Uh, they normally sell for 399 euros. They're on sale through December for 299 euros, basically a 25% discount. And if you pay in dollars, they used to be $464, and through the end of December, they're $349. All right, inside of this little kit on the bottom, these are all the extra pieces for the destructive tools. Uh, I said you don't do a lot of damage to the door, and here's why with the core puller. And that's because you have these really thick, I'll pull them out of here, really thick rubber washers, rubber gaskets, I guess. They have sticky on one side. You take it and you stick it to the face here. So now you have a rubber-faced tool. If you put the rubber face and then you go to the extra trouble to use one of these plates, you're guaranteed not to damage the customer's door when you pull that core out. So you pull the core, get in, pull the core out by taking the screws out, and then very quickly put it in. You don't have to replace any door hardware. So they really did put a lot of thought into this. Uh, lastly, sometimes when you pull out, you got a couple of extra tools here, key turners, two different sizes. And if by some freak of nature, you, I don't know, you're built like Superman and you snap this bolt. Yeah, you got an extra one. So I can't imagine ever needing that. But if you do, if you lose it, you got an extra one. Everything included right there in the kit. The, the ultimate opening kit from Multipick. Super quality kit, pick kit. As I said, I bought two of these. I saw When I saw the price, I bought this one to give away and I bought one for myself. Uh, speaking of Black Friday sales or uh, or Cyber Monday sales. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. Uh, I'll mention it. Uh, I'll put also the link to the Lock Lab deals and sales page down there in the description because I've got a lot of different codes. For example, Lockpick Shop has 20% off of everything and that expires on the 1st of December. So they've got both a Black Friday sale and a Cyber Monday sale. All that runs through 12-1. Lockpicks.com has 12% off of all of their tools, which expires on the 20th of December. And then Southord, amazing sale, 25% off. It expires uh, on the 12th of December. So if you're shopping for tools, guys, this is the time of year to grab up what you need. Again, this guy, I can't recommend him highly enough. This is the giveaway this week. I wish everybody the best of luck. Um, if you want to know how to register, stick around, and I will tell you how to do it. Appreciate your time, guys. Stay safe. Stay legal. All you need to do is navigate to locklab.com, the tribal website, and scroll down in the middle of the page. You'll see all the giveaway buttons Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But the one you're looking for is the weekend review giveaway, Purple Band. Just click on it. It'll take you to the registration page. Again, scroll to the bottom, put in a good email address. So if you win, I can get in touch with you, let you know. Put in a username, doesn't matter what it is, and click Submit. When you're done, you'll get a green check mark confirming your entry. Thanks, guys.